Hello and welcome everybody. And what on earth are we looking at here? Today we have a fun discussion, but before we start, before we dive in to that, huge shout out to my patrons. In particular, PokerChipForum.com. Tommy, thank you for your support. PokerChip Forum sent out this tabletop. They have been a patron for a long time. They have their own YouTube channel. Definitely go subscribe to that. They have the amazing, famous salad mixer methods. So you want to definitely go subscribe to that channel. Now, what are we looking at here? So I buy vintage golf clubs. Occasionally I go to Goodwill and I see if I can find some interesting clubs and occasionally I find something not golf related. In particular, I live in Wisconsin. So in uh, Wisconsin Goodwill, I found this. Fesco horse, horseshoe paper, what? Paper chips, what the? Embossed round edge, Kirby, Kogeschel, Stay Out Now, Co, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Cool. All right, and look, there's a hundred here apparently. So, you know, like I said, I found this at Goodwill. I don't know. I took a picture at Goodwill and I can't even make out the price. I can't remember if it was $2.99 or $3.99. Either way, I was like, that's too much, but I bought them anyway because I was thinking about this video. And looking at these, at first I was like, oh, they look pretty good. And then you pick them up and you realize, oh no, they really are just made out of paper. Like, it's terrible. They feel terrible. And I realized it's not all horseshoe. So they've been mixed and matched. Here's like a clover or a club, however you want to say. But there's like a a leaf here, like a clover leaf on these. Don't know if you can see that. So here's another, and then there are some horseshoe, see? And the, you know, I'm glad that the reds match at least. Very interesting. And I can't tell you, like I can tell you, but I can't, you can't feel how light these are on the screen. So I'm gonna demonstrate by weighing, here, let me grab the scale here, just how light they are. All right, so by way of reference, we know that casino chips vary in weight. Even like Paulson chips vary in weight from the 70s to the 80s to the 2000s to the present, okay? So things weigh different amounts, but when I think of a casino chip, I'm thinking generally around the nine to 10 gram range. Here we have one that's closer to the nine gram range. This is a real casino chip, Horseshoe Cincinnati, okay? So that's what we're expecting, nine or 10 grams for a casino chip. And then we get paper chips, made in Wisconsin, proudly made in Wisconsin. Almost two, oh, there we go, two grams. I think if I, here, let's do this. When I think when I weighted average these, so I get 10 of them, one, two, three, five, seven, nine, 10 paper chips here. Um, so there are 10 chips here, so we just move the decimal place over. So yeah, they're, you know, two, it would be 2.1 grams on average. And some of these are the clover style ones. I don't know if that matters or anything. But all that tells me is that somebody drooled on one of these or these one of these is retaining moisture or something. <laughs> in more humid environments, these might weigh more, which is really kind of scary to think about and gross. So, you know, the other thing that we want to discuss, hang on a second, I'm just looking like, look at the edges. You can see kind of the paper, like it almost looks like cardboard, you know, the paper edges. People, you know, I, you know people like, dislike dice chips, okay? I've, very, I've been very vocal against dice chips. That's one of the reasons why I started this channel. I was like, the world has to be better than this. Walmart set of dice chips. Not really knowing what the cheap chips were before then, I didn't really have insight. This gives me some more insight into, oh wow, was this what people were playing with before dice chips? I thought interlocking chips were like the bottom bottom rung. Now I realize, oh no, there's, it gets even worse. It gets even, all right, so let's, the last thing I wanna do is I wanna grab my digital calipers. You're gonna damage the paper with metal calipers. Good, good, cause I, you know, I'm not sure these are exactly going to be a, a John Hobby heirloom here in my family. <laughs> Paper chips. So 30, about 38 millimeters. Almost 38 millimeters. Should we, because when you look at, when you look at the uh, box here, some of these are proud, right? They stick out more than others. 
So it's, it's, yeah, I can tell by the color it's going to be one of these clover ones. But not that one. Do we have anything that's 39 millimeters here? Come on, a 39 millimeters. Almost, it's thinking about 39. Let's make sure this is zeroed. Uh, what about a real casino chip? Okay, with real casino chips, I'm expecting right around 39 millimeters. Yeah, see, 39.14 millimeters. Is that showing up on camera? I hope so. All right, so there we have it. Uh, I found something worse than dice chips. These are not available at Walmart. And you can buy them secondhand for apparently not much money. Paper chips. If you have memories with these, like when you were a kid, like do they sell, do they have dollar stores back then? I don't know. Is this something that you experienced? Let me know in the comments below and do you appreciate, like even cheaper metal slug chips. I would take any day over these. So let me know your thoughts and memories with paper chips. But for now, we need to play a hand with paper chips. And to honor paper chips, we're gonna use plastic cards. Plastic cards and paper chips. What's this world coming to? This tells me that I'm missing a joker. Am I missing a joker? These are some chem plastic playing cards. No, it must be in the other stack. All right. I think we're good here. I'm not going to count. This isn't an official. If it were real poker, I'd make sure every card is here because, you know, money's at stake. But this is just YouTube. Nothing's at stake here. If you want, pause the video. Where's my cut card? I also need my cut card. It's down here somewhere. Let's pull the cut card. See, here's all the, like, branding things. Chem from the makers of B. All right, there's my cut card. All right, let's get this off screen here. B is, the promo card is still trying to make an appearance here. We'll leave it there. Otherwise, it's just gonna bother me for the rest. It's gonna keep sliding into the video. All right, so like I said, if you're at home, grab a deck, shuffle up, let us know what you have in the comments below. If you fold early, if you make something amazing, let us know. I'm gonna play two hands here with my partner Jane Doe. Cut card, bottom. We are gonna move you. All right, so Jane and myself have a quick peek at my cards here. And one, two, three. All right, well I can tell you right now I'm winning. This one, I have a good feeling about it. And there's no way that Jane, um, so can you see everything there? There's no way that Jane Doe is gonna beat, that's right, I had pocket, you know, pocket nines. He's not gonna beat that. <laughs> How does it feel? Mm, luck box nothing. I can, I can trash talk to my imaginary friend here. So let me know, oh, we're not reviewing cards. So let me know your thoughts. Paper chips. Thesco. <laughs> it's Thesco. All right. Uh, it's interesting. I love like crazy things like this. I think it's fun. And if nothing else, it just gives me more insight into where we came from and how good we have things today. And of course, I need to thank my patrons. Thank you so much. I know I mentioned them at the beginning, but thank you for your support. It's just general support. It helps keep this channel up and running. So I really appreciate my patrons. You can also support this channel by visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I have some poker chips and poker related items in that shop. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. That's how it helps this channel. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.